We end tonight with a group of strangers on a Spirit Airlines flight coming together as a team to save a life. Here's Chris Van Cleve. It's a moment that warms Jerry Drulard's heart. Don't clap for me. All I did was survive. A chance to say thank you to the strangers who kept that very same heart beating. So good to meet you. Thank you. Do you remember the seat you were sitting in? Yeah, it was right here. It's 16D. I said, oh, great. I made the flight. I'll take a nap. And it was almost permanent. Drew Lard, who owns a car dealership with his family, boarded his spirit flight from Detroit to Orlando after finishing his final radiation treatment for prostate cancer. With the plane still at the gate, he suffered a massive heart attack. I just knew something was wrong. Jeff Kruger had just finished his CPR class three weeks earlier. He and flight attendant Ches Harrison were the first to come to Jerry's aid. Did you guys feel a pulse? No. There was no pulse. There was none. So you have to be thinking this man's dead. It crossed our minds, yes. You don't expect to hear somebody say call 911 on an airplane. Yeah, that's, that's Nurse Sue Nihas was sitting just a couple rows away. So was Katie Yombik, who just happens to be a cardiac care nurse. This guy was on his way out, you can tell. He got the oxygen on him. I think Katie started the CPR. And it was a little exciting, so I had to, I started singing Staying Alive, because they tell you when you do CPR, you sing Staying Alive. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, staying alive, staying alive. Still not responsive, and with paramedics en route, they called for the plane's defibrillator. He didn't really wake up, wake up, but he had a pulse. Medics raced Jerry to the hospital for a quintuple bypass. He says he doesn't remember what happened on the plane. This was a, a real miracle for her. That the people who were there, everything fell into place, and I am so happy. Glory to God for this. Here I am. Here, with the heroes he's only just met, but who sure seem like family now. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Detroit. It's so great. That is the CBS Evening News. I'm Jeff Glor. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow.